Up now in the soup, we pop and lock with a notorious W-O-Z. You're a fierce bitch, man. Lobby to get Lindsay some bailout money. I'll let her have uh, my room. Get untucked for RuPaul's Drag Race. It's under Whoa. my skirt. And watch American Idol butcher Motown. Your butt is so beautiful and smooth. Plus, the Kardashians get back at Joel, a deer takes down Matt Lauer, and the kick-ass clip of the week. Glam, pink, heart. Now, here's the host who watches it all for you. Joel McHale. Welcome to the soup. My NCA bracket is screwed. I knew I shouldn't have picked DeVry to win everything. Everybody graduated before the Sweet 16. Shoot. It was Motown week on American Idol, and the judges were happy with everyone's performance except for anyone who was either blonde or blind. <laughs> Heartless bastards. So, with very little to criticize, Simon decided to doodle on Paula. <laughs> Paula why do you have to do that? Written on your face? I, I didn't do it. No, why do you have to do that? The, the, ch the child did it. It's funny. You look fantastic. Thank you you. kept your rocker edge. Um, and I just want to say, you are awesome. You belong in the competition. You, so you are amazing, beautiful. You couldn't wait another five minutes for her to pass out before drawing on her? Come on. <laughs> You're great. Oh, thanks. Uh, in the end, they got rid of Big Oil Guy. Oh. And they're sticking with the hybrid. Yeah. I like that guy. Uh, as you remember, uh, Holly Madison took Jewel's place on Dancing with the Stars when Jewel got injured because Sloppy Seconds is listed as one of her strengths on her resume. <laughs> At any rate, Holly's partner, Dimitri, was asked if he missed Jewel and he couldn't lie. And then you said in, during the training that you probably think Dimitri wishes he had <laughs> Jewel back. Is there any truth to that? No, of course I miss Jewel, but, you know, she's my partner. We I'm great. a challenge, we have, anyway. Yeah, yeah, it's, uh, no, <laughs> no, I mean, we, we have a great time. I mean, it's, it's hard. It's hard. Well, hey, who said ballroom dancing was easy, folks? <laughs> it's so hard. Is it too late to get partnered with Wozniak? <laughs> just... Dimitri and Holly met Denise Richards for some hot E-on-E -E action in the elimination dance-off, and once again, the judges desperately tried to warn us about our Holly Madison-induced doom. Six. 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 <laughs> I've heard enough. I'm building an arc. <laughs> but the number of the beast was enough to eliminate Denise Richards, colon, it's the door hitting you on the way out. <laughs> uh... Despite having an almost historically low score, Steve the wal Walrus Wozniak <laughs> survived with his impression of a snail doing the worm. Whoa! Steve, Steve, you may not win Dancing with the Stars, but you definitely won the wet t-shirt contest. <laughs> you poor, poor woman. I'm so sorry. Bruno, however, has already chosen a winner, French actor Gilles Marini. Gilles, you came out here like a throbbing red-hot poker. <laughs> I'm telling you, you can raise the heat. And the samba is the party dance, and I tell you, everybody would want to party with you in here. Uh. <laughs> Sorry, that wasn't Bruno judging. He was just reading an excerpt from the romance novel he's writing, Jazz Hands and Cold Feet. <laughs> Can't wait to read the whole thing. In Lindsay Lowen news... It's Lindsay. <laughs> oh. Lindsay Lohan was involved in her third car crash in less than three weeks when her Maserati rear-ended a Subaru, although this time her assistant was driving. Lindsay's driving is fine. She's determined to keep hitting stuff until she finds a doctor who prescribes cocaine for sore neck. <laughs> also, Lindsay told Nylon Magazine she's struggling to pay the mortgage on her L.A. home. Lindsay said she knew her finances were bad when her father called to actually say hi. <laughs> That's it? Yeah. This may explain why Lindsay is starring in a new commercial for Fornina Jeans, which is real. Click. Flash. Wow. Bang. Wink. Smack. Smash. Crash. Glam. Pink heart for an arena. Desperate. Need cash. 
Mirrors, cut lines. Need more cash. Crash car. Narnia. In TV news, Matt Lauer recently missed some work because he was injured in a biking accident trying to avoid a deer which ran into his path. Later, Meredith Vieira joked about it. Matt was supposed to be here, but he was riding his bike yesterday or over the weekend. He had a run-in with a deer. Right. I hired the deer, but I said, just graze him. <laughs> Joining us now is the deer who caused the accident. No, no. Deer, uh... Thank you for being here. You have no idea the kind of danger you've put us both in by contacting me, Mikhail. What? <laughs> Don't play dumb with me. I'm a professional. I was hired to do a job, and the job went south. Lauer's alive, which means that I'm dead. My employer's not the forgiving type. Uh, are you telling me that Meredith Vieira was serious when she said she hired you to graze Matt? Damn it, Mikhail! Can't you see that Vieira was just a patsy? She's a smokescreen set up by the people with the real power. Who's behind this, then? Ask yourself. Who on the Today Show is unhinged enough to hire a deer, a totally benign woodland creature, to assassinate Matt Lauer? Oh, my Seacrest. Wait. Wait. Wait, what's it? what was that? Did you hear something? Hey, happy birthday from Smuckers. Who wants some venison? <laughs> Bye. <laughs> In Octomom news. Ah, uh, just take the kids away already. <laughs> Octomom has been calling 911 like it's her new BFF or something, and ET <laughs> brings us the tapes of the latest non emergency. A brand new 911 call. So I'd like to have somebody removed from the home that I'm at right now. Who is it? Um. Gloria Allred. <laughs> Hold on, ma'am. We're going to have an ambulance drive by with the siren going. She'll probably just take off after that. <laughs> yeah. Oh, let's talk about chicks, man. Chicks, man. <laughs> Lauren Conrad has put her clothing line on hold for the immediate future due to poor sales in the slumping economy. So, see, not all news about the economy is bad. <laughs> We got you again. Uh, let's have some chat still. So meaty. Oh. While the Today Show has no shortage of savants, Al Roker can name all 31 flavors, <laughs> this week they had on a bona fide genius, and he's only six. Pranav's IQ is 176, so high only one in a million people have it, even topping that other genius, Albert Einstein. His estimated IQ was only 160. Do you know who Albert Einstein is? No. <laughs> Perhaps you have mistaken me for someone else? I am the boy who can eat 37 samosas and then burp the Windows XP user's manual? <laughs> But tell me more about this Einstein person. <laughs> On The View, Barbara and Joy started talking about vibrators. La, 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 You have to buy one thing now. Yes. Let's say that, you, you know, there's one luxury thing now. You mean besides you a vibrator? Um, <laughs> well, for you, that's you not a luxury. Deep. What do you that's mean a vibrator for? for you, that's not a luxury. That's a necessity. <laughs> Barbara didn't use a vibrator. She just leaned against the comet that killed the dinosaurs. <laughs> I don't know why. I've never been invited back on that show. Uh, I don't watch the local KTLA morning news much. Now might be a good time for me to start and get caught up. Is the host of Chelsea Lately really worth a brand new multi-year deal with E that is absolutely huge? Here's this morning's variety. Deal said to be worth as much as eight figures, over $10 million, which of course prompted this. In a related story, analysts say that the soup host, Joel McHale, is now on suicide watch. <laughs> Joel, no, don't, don't, don't. That shirt belongs to E. <laughs> It's not like we can take that out of your check. <laughs> Thank you, Fatso. Way to go, Chelsea. We'll be right back. 
The Soup would like to wish a happy 61st birthday to Sir Andrew Lloyd Webber. Are there any games you like to play on your birthday? Well, I'm a gorgeous 17-year-old girl from the chorus line, all right? We were thinking drinking games, but whatever, it's your birthday. Stay tuned for reality show clip time with icky child beauty pageant judges, classy groupies, and the wig-raising finale of RuPaul's Drag Race. Plus, the Kardashians get their revenge and the kick-ass clip of the week. I am extremely hairy. On Celebrity Apprentice, Donald is looking to trade in his newest wife for a blonder model. But fidelity is an important issue to him. I hired a cute boy to be play my husband. He gave you a pretty hard kiss, though, this guy, didn't he? <laughs> That's okay with me. I saw those lips lock, and you looked like you were enjoying it, too, Brandy. I was very into my thing, and I was doing my thing, yeah, so I didn't kissing that good-looking guy. He's dead. Because I was just focusing, Does and I didn't really see all the Does he have any idea who you're married fights. to, Brandy? What's when that? he stuck his tongue down your throat. No, he kissed me on the cheek. Oh, okay. But I did try. So what I saw. What I saw was a tongue down your throat that had very little class or luxury. You want to see a classy tongue? Nah. You see that? You get this down your throat, you'll think you'll have the finest caviar just sitting there lodged in your esophagus. <laughs> Not that my tongue tastes like fish. Ivanka, does my tongue taste like fish? <laughs> see? On America's Next Top Model. Benny Ninja instructed the girls on posing and then gave them some other directions that I only understood half of. I will be picking the winner based on how the crowd cheers on your poses, okay? It is time for hair and makeup. In my lingo, that means go get your hair did and your carta snatched. You know, my mother warned me that I could get my carta snatched in New York. Or is it my snatch cardist? I don't know. <laughs> That's why I carry mace. Uh, Brett Michaels has narrowed the penis cozies on Rock of Love bus <laughs> down to the fungal four. And while Taya and Beverly are off having intercourse with Brett, Minnie and Jamie try to figure out ways to entertain themselves. Taya and Beverly are gone on their date, and Mindy and I are just sitting here by ourselves. This is the final four. This is really serious. I really have to do something to step it up, to say, hey, I'm here. Look at me. <gasps> I have an idea. Let's get a camera and take slutty pictures of each other, but not slutty, like classy slutty. <laughs> okay, so let's take a picture of me uh, licking Schaffenberger chocolate off your butt, and then you get between my boobs, and we'll pour a really nice Chateau Neuf de Pop down them like a funnel. <laughs> Wait, is that too classy? I don't want to turn Brett off. <laughs> Moving from the effect to the cause, Little Miss Perfect takes an inside look at the controversial world of children's beauty pageants. I really don't know what all the fuss is about. I mean, this home seems like any other appallingly horrible backwards place to grow up. Jordan, where is my eyeliner, really? I did Buster ate yours. This is mine. Well, why didn't somebody tell me last night, well, what is it, Walmart, that Buster ate my eyeliner? <laughs> why didn't someone tell me Buster ate my eyeliner? We had to have your stomach pump for no reason at all. <laughs> well, I did find my keys. <laughs> But when it's time to go on stage, these terrified little girls mean business. And after seeing these judges, I can understand why. The smiles, the sparkle, the whole thing, the poise, it's there. I think she's definitely a born beauty queen. There's something about her hair. She's not like you are brown and flawless like a cat. I'm very bothered by her hair. We should rip it from her scalp and force her to eat it. <laughs> oh, then of course, purge it. I mean, that's, that's the only right thing to do. I really hate her hair. <laughs> it's horrible. Uh, okay, everyone, uh, try not to freak out, but America has a new drag superstar. <laughs> that's right. RuPaul's Drag Race picked its winner this week, and in case you haven't been watching, it came down to African queen Bibi Sahara, Latin sensation Nina Flowers, and that evil bitch Rebecca Glasscock. <laughs> Everybody hates her. Luckily, Bibi managed to secure victory with a little freestyle.
face, 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 I get face, beauty face, you can take, it's okay, watch my body go insane. If you ever feel the need that you want to be free, come right now and walk the beat. You're a fierce bitch, man. I'm scared of you. Fierceness is not the reason I'm scared. <laughs> On the Drag Race reunion show, Rue, 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 seen here as what he really is, a grasshopper, <laughs> uh, got into uh, some details about cross-dressing that even cross-dressers probably don't want to think about. I am extremely hairy. Yeah. I shave my body every which direction possible. I even your junky trunk, you, you, um, because your butt is so beautiful and smooth, do you have to shave that? Every, yeah, actually, I shave my ass probably every other day. Wow. Well, thank you, ladies. She shaves it every other day because she likes the manly look of a little five o'clock ass shadow. <laughs> Even your junky trunk? <laughs> I've been asked that so many times. Uh, the finale of RuPaul's Drag Race, it keeps going, left a void in my testosterone level. So I started watching Female Forces. It's a show that offers a glimpse into the gritty life of the female police officers of Napier, Illinois. And it is intense. Sometimes on night shift, they'll partner us up, sticking us together. You know, we might come up with different solutions to the same problem. Besides, you know, two women in a car, you see us come and look out. Yeah, right. <laughs> look at this clown. Go ahead. I think we should make a traffic stop. Oh, absolutely. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Two women in a car? Then who's driving? Oh! Yeah, right. Yeah, Saudi Arabia, yeah. right on. Absolutely. We'll be right back. Yeah. Hold on. The soupiest stuff is up next with the Kardashians keeping up with Joel, a bunch of judge shows, and the kick-ass clip of the week. This could be pretty good. This might work out. The Soup is brought to you by the newest iPhone app, the iWipe. With iWipe, you'll never sweat like Steve Wozniak on Dancing with the Stars. So buy an iWipe today. Seriously, dude, buy an iWipe. And some deodorant wouldn't hurt either. Yeah. Now time for our brand new court show segment, Gavel Bangin'. All rise. First time I saw that. During my regular viewing of Judge Janine Pirro, this week, I was surprised to find Air Force Amy from the HBO series Cat House suing her roommate and fellow whore, Bunny Love. <laughs> it's so unladylike to fight over money. Here, Amy testifies as her own character witness. You know that I'm a very upstanding citizen. I don't lie, cheat, or steal. I just do a really good job. I'm a highly decorated veteran of the United States Air Force. I have an honorable discharge and a meritorious service medal, and I've worked as an anti-terrorism specialist and an air base ground defense instructor. I have a, um, the, the highest academic award achievable, John Lavato Award in the military. So I have this, this, this certain standards that I do apply within my um, job that I do now for the last 19 years working in the Nevada legal brothel industry. How does one go? from the Air Force to the Bunny Ranch. Well, it's only like an hour away. <laughs> it's too bad she wasn't stationed in Afghanistan. Osama bin Laden would have died from syphilis by now. <laughs> Barbara? <laughs> Aren't you happy we didn't say honorable discharge? <laughs> On Judge Judy, uh, what started out as a civil action about an iPhone became an indictment on the American educational system. Grow up. Make a mistake. You did something wrong. You negligently ruined her iPhone. You have to pay for that. It's as simple as that. So isn't that rocket science? What is rocket science? Rocket science is when the scientists find out things about space. <laughs> I think. <laughs> Oh, I'm sorry, I mean, what is when the scientists find out things about space? There's Jeopardy, right? Let's take some E.
Keeping up with the Kardashians is all new this month, and there is turmoil in the Gypsy clan as Kim secures a deal for her own perfume and her sisters become jealous. And that's when the troubles begin. My sisters just really need to understand that I need to do this perfume on my own, and then it'll lead to a perfume with the three of us. Do you want us to ride on your coattails? No. Are the calls coming in for you to do a perfume? <laughs> Gypsies! Oh! What are you guys doing here? Oh, we just wanted to come down and make sure everyone knows that we resolved our little dispute. That's great. How? <laughs> well, we decided to take our anger with each other and direct it somewhere else. We also agreed to each release our own scent. Would you like to try it? Yes, I would. Mine's called It Burns. Ah, it burns! It burns! Mine's called Why Did You Do That? Why Did You Do That? And mine's called Matt's Revenge. What? I didn't do what? it. Oh, uh, crap, sorry. Come on, guys, we're, we're late for Ledoux. What? The Kardashians! And now, and now our clip of the week. One Tree Hill can be described in many ways. An unflinching cure for insomnia, worst show to take place on a hill, and inexcusable misuse of Chad Michael Murray would all work. <laughs> Medical drama, however, would not. Dan Scott has been waiting a very long time to receive a new heart. Then the day finally arrives. Things don't go quite as he expected. Dr. Jameson. Don't panic, don't panic. Look, if we just wait half an hour, we can get that heart back. Yeah! Holy crap. Get your vital organs back from the dog and come see me April 11th at the Wells Fargo Center in Santa Rosa, California. Second Charles been added. The Horseshoe Casino in Hammond, Indiana. May 2nd, the Paramount Theater in Denver. May 9th at the Palace Theater in Louisville. And June 19th. Oh, that's on June 19th. I lost track. If you want your soup early next week, log on to enline.com and check out Condensed Soup for your daily dose. Go to the soup blog at enline.com slash the soup. See you next week. Yeah.